Cambodia's prominent opposition figure, Kem Soka, has been sentenced to 27 years under house arrest for treason. He has also been indefinitely barred from running for political office or voting in elections. He will not be allowed to meet anyone outside his family while under house arrest. The 69-year-old leader was arrested in 2017 of accusations of conspiring with foreign powers to overthrow longtime Prime Minister Han Sen, who has ruled Cambodia for nearly four decades. After the arrest, his party CNRP was banned ahead of a 2018 election that was swept by Han Sen's party CPP. Kem Soka has repeatedly denied the charges against him. Observers say the charges were designed to bar him from politics ahead of July's elections. After the sentence was announced on Friday, Kem's lawyer said that they would appeal the verdict. The court sentenced him to 27 years in prison, but did not put him in jail. Instead, they put him under house arrest, like detaining him by not allowing him to meet the supporters and stripped him of all of his political rights. U.S. Ambassador to Cambodia, Patrick Murphy, was also present in the court when the verdict was announced. He slammed the trial and sentence and called it a miscarriage of justice. The United States is deeply troubled by the conviction of respected political leader Kem Soka. We call on authorities to allow all Cambodians to enjoy their universal human rights of peaceful assembly, and free expression and to participate in building a truly democratic system. Reactions have also been reported from Australian Embassy in Cambodia which has expressed disappointment with the ruling and has said that a dialogue will continue with Cambodia to support human rights, democracy and rule of law. The chair of ASEAN Parliamentarians for Human Rights has said that the verdict has not delivered justice and given the present conditions a fair and free election is not possible in Cambodia. We All is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.